Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to suppress feature in the 3D model or how to suppress parts in assembly mode using relation in Creo. So step by step I'd like to explain to you details regarding pro program, relations, parameter and so on. So let's start. We will create a new 3D model and I will call it relation and I will use the empty template. So what does it mean? Nothing is created in model tree, so we are not able to manage and I, I'm not able to show you the pro program. But if I will select that I need to create a first coordinate system, what does it mean? In model tree we have nothing more on the coordinate system. Now if I will jump to pro program and I will select the design, you can see that over here is the function add feature as coordinate system and some default information for this coordinate system and then and add. So add feature and adding feature. If we will add more, so for example I will add additional three datum planes and we will jump to pro program edit design we will see that at the end the system add also at the end yeah added the feature datum plane and end. So simple, the system always add feature with all necessary information. So what does it mean? We will create new extra feature. The sketch plane will be DTM3 for example and we will create some simple sketch. Really simple. Doesn't matter what kind of dimensions is used. We will specify it in default and also here. And if I will jump to pro program, edit design, at the end of the file we will have information. Add feature as extrude feature, specification the sketch plane, orientation plane and reference plane and so on. And over here are base dimension which are used for the extrude feature. And at the end is end add. Okay, what does it mean? In this example I like to suppress for example, the chamfer feature, if the value will be bigger or greater. Yeah, let's have a look. So what does it mean? We are able to create the chamfer feature and over here in the chamfer, chamfer is created and in the pro program, again, at the end, we will see that chamfer is created. Yeah, add feature, chamfer on edge and finish. So logic is same for any feature what you create. Everything is written in the file for pro program. Now we would like to drive our parameter by relations. So what does it mean? We are able to jump to the relations. In, over here you have a possibility to ins insert the local parameter. And for example, I will write chamfer as the name. And we can specify type real number 7, 17, it doesn't matter, it's some number. Integer, real number, yeah, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something like this, integer number, string, for example, yes, no, uh, greater, bigger, something like this, so you can write a sentence here in the bracket, yeah, or what does it mean? Or really, boolean operation, yes, no, and then the system automatically show you the yes, no functionality and you don't need to write as a string yes, no. So, okay, now, we understand how it works and we would like to try it. So what does it mean? The parameter chamfer, I will copy it here, simple, or you can use the right mouse button in Z2 relation, it's the same. And we would like to specify the chamfer equal, for example, right now is written no, so I will try to use the yes. We will validate and now you can see the chamfer is still type as yes, no and value is yes. Over here, as is locked by relation, so we are not able to use the drop down menu anymore. If we will write no, I will validate. It's a no. Perfect. So it works as needed. But sometimes maybe you would like to drive with the string value. String value is definite with the, this sign. So simple at the simple sign. And now if I will validate, you see that system change chamfer to string. So over here, you can write what you want and if I will validate the system will write the value as needed so this is the string definite with this sign and but still we would like to use the 
yes no type so over here I will only try to yes and we can continue yep so again validate everything works fine perfect but I mentioned that we would like to drive read the dimension so for example if dimension d0 is greater than something different and if you would like to see the value for the parameters you are able to select toggle between dimensions value and name so simple you can see it yeah it doesn't matter what do you want and now we will specify if this parameter is greater or equal so for example greater than 200 the chamfer will be created simple chamfer equal yes if not we will write else chamfer is not created and we have to finish it so and if if i will validate everything is working fine and now we can check if the value for chamfer will be changed so what does it mean if the value d0 will be less than 200 has to be here no okay let's have a look we will change it here simple drag and drop regenerate and check parameter perfect chamfer is no so parameter is working well if we will go back we will change it to greater than 200 for example like this has to be yes perfect relation is working and they are connected with the parameter or parameters now we need to write the condition also for pro program so what does it mean i will jump to program edit design and really at the bottom we have a chamfer yeah and over there is the add feature between n and add please use logic if parameter chamfer is equal yes then create feature at the end you have to finish and if be careful in the pro program is space in relation is no space for and if i will save these changes here close and yes and now we can try to regenerate model and we will change it so what does it mean it will be less than 200 i will regenerate the chamfer is not created it's suppressed automatically if we will move it to greater than 200 chamfer is created so this is the example how you can drive the suppress or show feature by the parameters and relations we will go back to assembly in the assembly it's a uh, similar so you can see that we have uh, some assembly with some objects and simple if i will open the pro program edit design and i will specify it from model at the bottom we can see what is in the model tree the first component is other the part t part yeah so it's a t part i call it as the t's name and at the, at the last one is the screw underscore a so last one add part screw underscore a so what does it mean if you would like to drive the showing hiding simple simple to say suppressing the component because really sim system will suppress these objects so you can create a parameter also so i will create new parameter and we can call it i don't know q1 doesn't matter yeah and also we can or we can be maybe better to set that will be screw yeah and screw will be visible or no not so screw and over there i will write yes no and for example we will specify that if parameter screw is set to yes these last two screw will be visible yes so let's have a look what does it mean i will jump to pro program i will jump to edit design and really at the bottom we have a two screw screw a screw a so over here between and add and add the part i will write if screw is equal yes then create these two object or let us see it yeah and again and if i will save 
I will close. I will regenerate model. Yeah, so I will regenerate. Parameter is set to yes, so screw are visible. We will change the parameter to no. So I will select drop down menu and specify the no. Come from OK. I will regenerate. The screw will be suppressed and screw are not here. Yeah, again, back. Specify that we would like to see this parameter. If you don't want to use the parameters from drop down menu by this function, yeah, edit parameters, you are also able to add parameter to your model tree. So what does it mean you are able to select three columns? In info, select model parameter. The system will show you what kind of parameter you are using. I will use the screw. And over here, is it possible to see that right now the screw parameter is set to yes. If we will use the drop down menu no and regenerate, again, the screw will be suppressed. So in this example, you have seen how it is possible to drive and suppress feature or parts by pro program relations and parameter modification. Thanks for the question. Stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.